Oh, it's 10, 10, 24. You'll never see that date again, will you? That means it's 10, 28, which is a 3. Anyway, must be conspiracy in 10, 10 somewhere. Anyway, welcome to our channel. You are the smartest, most active audience this planet has ever seen. Are you ready for the news? We tell you the news that's been confirmed and will affect your lives. We don't care if somebody gets in a car rash, wreck in Moscow. We don't care, blah, blah, blah. What we care about is what affects you, your pocketbook, and your environment. So, anyway, welcome to our channel. Milton slams Florida, U.S. cancels all peace talks worldwide. That's right. Secretary, drug-using Secretary of State Milt, or, um, Blinken has canceled all peace treaties, all peace conferences around the world. And voting begins. We never got our ballot, did we? So Washington State is eliminating the Republicans. So we can't vote. The cheating begins in Arizona and here in Washington. So, first of all, a note from our advertiser. Get the tea. Um, save 10% on everything you buy. Uh, they've been a, my loyal advertiser for a long time. You get a sugar high on Halloween. You make sure you get Gymnema, Take Down, or Cinnamon. They have a heck of a sale on the three of them. It's a heck of a sale. And then add their daily cleanse. You get, it went from $35 to $25. And this is the killer deal. If you're trapped in a hurricane, you get some seaweed and you get some of this because probably the government food will what kill you without nutrition. This is sea vegetables. And what is the other thing? The other one is super strength life change tea. And what that'll do is it'll clean your system out from all the garbage the government's feeding you and provide you with the essential nutrients so you can survive what the government's about to do. Because they are nasty. So can I make a suggestion? Yes. Well, we're gonna, this year, everybody needs to probably buy, uh, for Christmas gifts, this type of thing that is, that is something useful for your loved ones. Yeah, like Jim Nemma. So if, so just to get a or box take of, down, or cinnamon most likely, because if medication gets cut off like it is on the East Coast, you're going to need to replace that diabetic medicine, and everybody knows what cinnamon is. Well, I mean, getting a care package from Get the Tea is so important. Oh yeah, I would suggest getting everybody a bottle of cinnamon. We keep extra cinnamon, cinnamon around just in case. If they cut off the medications for us, we got, we're surrounded by diabetics. And they're going to need something to control their blood sugar. And the only thing I know of that they know of is cinnamon. They don't know what Jim is. They don't know what takedown is. Anyway, okay, Milton slams Tampa as a Category 1 storm. You know, Coach Jimmy? Category 1 or 5? Category 1. No. The news media lied. I went into weather predictions, and it said it was a Category 1. So the news media, ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, NBR, they all lied, are you surprised? But Coach Jimmy K said something. He flew into Florida about six months ago, and he said an entire condo, entire condos were gone. They were washed away. Though, so this is an attempt by the NASA to direct storms into Florida and the Southwest, and it kills Americans. Now, we used to call that murder, but we can't call it murder anymore. We have to call it Natural weather phenomena when a hurricane goes like this. Natural phenomena, my weir. We studied weather at UC Berkeley in 1979. We studied hurricanes. Hurricanes never acted like they're acting now that the Virginia class submarine has the microwave cannon on it and we have weather direction planes. So, there was, I believe this hurricane was to initiate mandatory evacuation. You must leave your homes. You must leave your homes. We, must, we will tell you to leave your homes. We will tell you what to do. Show me your papers. We money. want your papers. Get out of your house now. We are a private corporation called FEMA. Get out of your house. Kiss my rear, FEMA. You're a private corporation. They are, they are abandoning houses. Now. Suppose power lines are ripped up out of line. Water mains are destroyed. The power substations have been blown. Blown? Not by the hurricane, but by somebody that blew them purposely. There will be no power for three to four million people. Actually, about five million people out of power, by the way. Verizon went down in Seattle again last night. Yes, I could tell. It, yeah. Boom off. Because I was trying to order a pair of pants. <laughs> They were on sale, 25% off. 
and Verizon went down. You know, I know it. I was so mad. <laughs> thank God for the government killing the internet. <laughs> you can thank them. Call them and thank them, Bill. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to call up Verizon, except when you call Verizon, you speak to somebody in the Philippines. Hello, my name Grace. I speak English. You live at 1, 2, that Street? No, that's B Street. 1, 2, that Street, B. I mean, it's horrible calling Verizon. So anyway, Governor DeSantis and you governors of North and South Carolina, your enlisted men are state employees. Your officers are Army Reserve employees. So when I served in the National Guard, I was an Army Reserve officer. And not all your officers are Army Reserve officers. Some of them are National Guard officers. So take your senior enlisted, your command sergeant majors, and you can temporarily brevet them to general, colonel, captain, lieutenant. Brevet them and call it because it brevet it means you do it, it it's for a short period of time and you're still a state employee. Call out your National Guard. Tell the officers to put the where it doesn't shine. Call out your enlisted and start fixing the mess. You as governors control your enlisted, but you do not control Army Reserve officers. But you do control your enlisted men. Revit them. Make them temporary officers within the state. Because they're not recognized as an Army officer, a Reserve or an Army officer, until the Army accepts their commission. So we've got two-star generals in the states, and when they go to a convention, aren't really two-star generals, they're appointees. So they're state two-star generals. So call out your enlisted and start fixing this mess, and tell Lloyd Austin to turn off his off button, because he's a clone. Get out of your face. Arrest him if you've got some guts, governors. Anyway, so brevet them and call them out. If you don't, you're guilty of treason, DeSantis and the rest of you governors. And uh, Anthony Blinken, the one who's using drugs and dancing to rock and roll. Mr. Anthony Blinken, if you did a blood test, he'd be probably be high on every drug. That's not a joke. You ought to meet these people. He canceled the peace talks for the Ukraine on the 12th. Did you know that? He also said, we refuse to have peace in Lebanon. Israel, we will kill the last terrorist with he said, according to Biden, he said, we will fight the Russians to the last Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. Well, Blinken said, we will fight the terrorists to the last Jew. He said, we won't have, we cancel the peace talks in Palestine and in Lebanon. We order no peace. He said that. We order the conflict to continue. You know, when you sell $60 billion worth of weapons a month, that's $18 billion of commissions. That's almost, that's $220 billion a year that Anthony Blinken goes through his hands to his buddies. $220 billion. That's $720 billion you, the taxpayer, pay for what? Bombs, missiles. You think that $127 million they sent to Lebanon went in food and water? Are you nuts? They sent him guns and missiles. And overpriced guns and missiles, I might add. A little Stinger missile might run 200000 now, so they sell it to them for 600000 More commission, baby. It's all about the money. The Democrats, they have destroyed this nation, which is why God is going to start tearing them apart, especially the U.S. arms industry. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. And now that we've canceled the peace treaty, in Somalia, did you know we have a conflict in Somalia? We have one in Venezuela with our troops there. We have one in Colombia with our troops there. We have some massive conflict in Ethiopia. Did you know we have troops in Ethiopia? Did you know we have in the Congo to steal the coltan? Did you know we're sending U.S. troops in to stabilize the coltan and the quartz mines in North Carolina because the quartz is the basis of your cell phones. It's all about money. Follow the money. Lloyd Austin, the clone, his generals make a commish. So they're stabilizing the lithium, the quartz, the crystalline gold, and the coal tan mines, which actually the two products are found separately in North Carolina, which is a real rarity. And finally, lithium. well, lithium isn't the big dollar thing. It's the quartz within the lithium. That will sell for 10 times what they harvest the lithium for. So the military is going to rebuild that road without an environmental protection report. 
Isn't that amazing? No EPA. The Department of Energy, which is a corporation owned by the Department of Defense, will go in there and say it's for national security purposes. Generals get a commission. Command Sergeant Major for the Joint Chiefs of Staff gets nothing. So the fighting begins over who gets more money. That's why they fired all those generals. They were taking too much. That's why the, the uh, Chief of Police of Seattle has been suspended. He was taking too much commission. On the drugs they sell, the CIA brings the drugs in, the FBI distributes it, and the cops make the commission at the bottom level. And Chief Brown was taking too much commission. How do I know this? Go talk to him. They tell the truth. It's just the media covers it up like a bunch of incompetent boobs. But they're not incompetent boobs. They all get paid. And finally, the voting has begun in Arizona. And the pollsters say, we've counted the votes. It's 42% Kamala, 43% Trump. So Trump goes all around the country, gets up to 100,000 people there. And that's with, the, that's with the local federal agencies blocking people from coming in. He fills up stadiums. Kamala comes. She brings in two busloads of the same people. She's paying them out of your pocketbook $200 a day. So she's got 60 people plus a staff, two buses of cameramen. So they can only show the crowd there. Then they move it up there. Then they show Kamala there. Then they move the crowd down there. They show the same people. Because there's only a few black people, and if you focus on the black people, you recognize them. Every rally. So that there's a few black people over there to the right. You begin to recognize these people. You can't recognize 60 white people, but all of a sudden you start to recognize. Or pick out the, the non-whites, and you'll recognize them. Or pick out an audacious white. You begin to recognize them. So these buses, four buses, follow Kamala. And she's getting 42% of the vote. Let me tell you something. First of all, how come they released the data before the ballots came in? Oh, my God. Secondly, how come all of these pollsters have been paid off to claim that Kamala's only one point behind Trump? Third, how are they even releasing the counted data? It's illegal to release the data until all the data's been collected, right? So why are these people not in jail? Why is the assessor for Pierce County not in jail after faking the last election and pulling us off the voter rolls? We were told we were put off, taken off the voter rolls. So we're going to go there and say, how come we didn't get a ballot? How many other Republicans didn't get a ballot? Yeah, the little games they're playing. So I'll file a police report against the assessor probably in the next couple of days. you got to file them on, online. You can't just file them. You can't go to the police station. Zig Heil, they are above God. Yeah, what's the what happened last time they arrested an ambassador? Economy crashed. We'll go to the Gov Mart Bazaar where they have the election. Yeah, and we'll say we need a ballot. Yeah. And they'll say, well, you know, register to vote. And we'll say, well, now that we found out we didn't get a ballot, register us. They'll say it's too late to register to vote. I'm telling you, that's the conversation that we're gonna have all over the country. And it's gonna slide. Because the U.S. Marshals are under orders to obey the courts, which said no fake voting. Now remember, the president is appointed. Our votes are meaningless. So there's no such thing legally as election fraud. Because the pigs, sorry, I can't say, I can't say Kamala and Biden, who are N-A-Z-I-S. I can't say that without adding the word pig. Because when I grew up, all N-A-Z-I's were pigs. So the pigs have sent out their minions to destroy our voting. So that's the way it works. In the United States of um, the United States Corporation in 2024. The US Marshals, the little fat pig walrus who runs them, he looks like a walrus, the superimposed a walrus without whiskers. Anyway, the fat pig walrus is under orders to obey the courts and he's not doing it. The FBI is supposed to be the chief law enforcement agency that used to used to detect treason, but now they are the ones committing treason. And don't expect any help from Department of Homeland Security because they are the ones committing treason. So back in 1990, when I was getting my master's degree, 
I'd taken the law, FBI law enforcement course so I could be a Forest Service law enforcement geek. Of course, they always let you go at the end of the season because you're a white male. Reduce you from a GS-5 to a GS-4, and then, then they take away everything. Then they, they say goodbye, you're done, and put a woman in your place who hasn't been through the law enforcement class. But back in 1990, I remember reading in the Humble County newspaper where the FBI was putting mold, spraying mold on the dope, and it was killing people. You know, they'd smoke a dope and get the mold in there and then die. And I thought it was funny, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized the FBI is murdering people. And when I ran into a dope farm in the woods and the Forest Service cops came and these guys are shooting at a helicopter who is sending in firefighters, so we had to evacuate the forest fire so these dope growers who started a fire by mistake can grow their dope. When I realized the Forest Service didn't arrest those guys and allow the fire to be put out, one must realize that it is the Forest Service and the FBI growing the dope. So that's when my eyes were open as to the evil in the FBI, when they started killing Americans and letting the dope growers start fires in the woods for just because they thought it was cool. And the police did nothing. Nothing. Four fat old men with rifles walked in, talked to the dope growers, and left. Huge field of dope. Landmines, the whole works. And they let them go. I know, I went in because I saw a tripwire. So that's when I went in and started looking at who was shooting at the helicopters. And when I found out, I went back to my radio, went to the edge of a cliff, and called in for assistance. So the Forest Service is complicit with growing dope in the woods. That's why the gates are all locked. You go to the mountains and the gates are locked because they're growing the dope. That's how illegal the FBI is. Undercutting the CIA. Bringing dope in from the Golden Triangle, which is why Carl Sanders said they developed the Verichip to track the dope shipments from the Golden Triangle of Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. Anyway, so the voting has begun. The lying has begun, and we'll see how they don't worry about it. They've already decided who's going to be appointed president. I'm just mad they took me off the voter rolls. God bless. Thank you very much. We'll see how it all pans out. We'll see it, and I'll bet you they're going to cancel voting in the entire Confederate state area because of fires and floods. This is how evil Kamala is. Devil, Devil Harris whose mom's last name is Shambhala, where Satan hangs out above Mongolia. Listen to the Lucifer Trust last night speaking. God bless. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow.